Well, hello everyone, here I am with another LEGO Harry Potter review, and this one is on the Shrieking Shack and Whopping Willow that is now released, or latest one, yeah. So on the front of the largest, longest box here have all three of the main logos and that border that we've seen since last year, and picture of the set that there is, and all the meaning things included, and Recommended ages 9 and up, set number 7640 or 407 has 777 pieces. And flip to the back, you see the, the collectible random wizard cards that there are, and also the back side of the main build, and also the features of it, and yeah. <coughs> And now to the instruction manual, which is kind of a plain kind of cover to it, but with some different bricks in the background, if you can see slightly. But yeah. First part of it is first page, as you can see. Advertisement of the how they're going to paper bags now. And then instructions app. And on the back you have a little ad win on the online survey. And the pieces that come with the set, which is four pages. And then how all the Hogwarts corridor sets can come together and combine and all. And then the wizard card tile pieces and the last steps. First off, so onto the mini figs here. So first off, we which have Harry Potter and Hermione Granger, same as from the uh, series Black. Our series is Rescue set of this current wave, and also from the uh, Hospital Wing set from earlier this year, but also Ron Weasley as well, but with two, uh, but with symmetrical legs instead of one being in white, of course. And next to which have a series black, of which quite similar, or kind of the same, or almost the same as from the uh, 2019, uh, what's it called? Expect a Patronum set, of course. And next to which is Peter Pettigrew, which, and correct me if I'm wrong, I think this version might be exclusive to this set, but or he might have previously came in a collectible minifig series, of course. And then next to which is uh, Professor Remus Lupin, which first time we've seen in quite a while, but since like the 2010 Hogwarts Express, I believe, or maybe we have, uh, yeah. But, however, the uh, hair piece of which done quite, a oh, nice choice for him, and also does have, and also front torso printing and face printing all look quite good, of course, and although most of which have it, not, not at all any, like, printing, but, however, Peter Pettigrew quite does. <clears throat> and then on to Lupin's werewolf form, first time we're getting it, but see, in this dark tan color but and of course nice use of the like fawn legs in that color from a from the collectible minifig series of course <clears throat> and of course this was first form of that but although uh, maybe in hopefully in the future we do get the other version of werewolf lupin like when it's when he has longer limbs and in black of course and on the backs of each one most of which do have double side faces, of which same as from sets before. And of course, whereas Lupin's which 
kind of, which I think is probably exclusive to him, like, uh, which, with the yellow colored eyes, which representing his werewolf transformation, and also do have some nice back torso printing to him with the rags and all. <clears throat> and so now that is it with all the mini figs included with this. Also get these uh, two little uh, animals alongside, which is Peter Pettigrew's uh, rat form or mouse form or whatever, and also the dog uh, Padfoot, of course, which is the traditional recent dog piece, but in, done in this black color and also has the yellow eyes to it. Very nice, of course, and quite interesting. <coughs> I guess that is about it there. And next to which are the uh, wizard uh, card tiles. So I would have so this which is almost Dumbledore uh, silver version. And Helga Hufflepuff. And uh, also, uh, hang on. So, Derek Ollivander and Severus Snape, of course. So, now these of which did come with my copy of it, but yours could come with different ones, but yeah. <clears throat> and now, on. So, now, first bit of the set of which is this little fence like build, which everything's just on a long plate, of course. See, so as you see. Nice use of the like curved and jagged slopes put together, like in the recent uh, Star Wars uh, Snow Trooper Battle Pack, of course. And also nice use of those curved brick pieces, which represented as, or which probably represent clumps of snow, of course. And also do have a couple tile pieces here, but but do but our stickers. There's lost stickers in this set. But also nice use of the skeleton like piece in brown and of course representing uh, some wood bits of the fence and same with these uh, telescope pieces but one with a white stud on it to be snow on it and of course quite simple but yet well effective of course and uh, whereas for these fence bits of which nice build done for them and yeah First off, for the builds is oh, it is the Whomping Willow and a little rock section. <clears throat> and as so, this is which second time we're getting the Whomping Willow, unlike how we did with the standalone Whomping Willow set from like 2018. But of course, although that which kind of its main separate build, but this which is just uh, which part of that part of this build. Or part of a build, of course. And as you see, the, the build of this, which is quite different, like, is on those Technic swivel pieces and also one of those horn pieces there. And also a nice use of these newer pieces in brown and also plenty of vines and whatnot and Exoforce arms for that. And also, of course, in the center is a single stud, probably so you can attach the enchanted car onto it representing it crashing down into it or or well like in chamber secrets that is or since this so which probably the since this the prisoner of azkaban version where you can most likely attach a minifig onto one of the bar bits like that and represent when the walk willow walks or they, they kind of get walked around by it, quite fun and all. Well, aside from that, nice build to it in this middle section of which, so nice, some more use of various pieces for, like, representing snow and all, with Nexonite's Pyramid, of course, 
and we'll work with that. And <clears throat> we have to end for this other section, which which consisted of a small ugly rock piece and some jagged slopes and cheese slopes around it, also representing snow. But and if you notice this clear stand here, which leads to a couple pieces, which I'll mention in a, mo in a moment. But the main feature is that if you put Lupin on here, and you can turn that and he turns into his werewolf form. So, quite nice feature for that. And as for this uh, upper piece, which is the cloud piece that we've seen in the Yudi Kitty line, and also this larger round tile piece, but which is a bit of white, but is also glow in the dark, which quite fun, quite neat, and quite cool. Would like to see this in mocks, of course. Although kind of hard to get on. Oh, let me see. Okay. There. And so now you're probably wondering what this little uh, hinge bit there is for it. Well, there's a reason for that, which I'll go over a little later, but yeah. Now onto the Shrieking Shack itself. It was quite neat, or quite nice build to them. Now, and of course, Lego history-wise, this was second and only other time we've ever gotten this particular building set. Like, of course, the first and only other time we've ever gotten this was in 2004, which goes alongside the release of uh, Prisoner of Azkaban, of course. But it here now, oh, it's quite insane for that. But of course, some builds of which are kind of similar to last year's hog meat, hogs meat building set, of course. <coughs> like, I'll let me zoom in a bit. Like, as you can see, there's plenty of these round tile or round plate bits of which and plenty of tile pieces as well in white being representing snow of course and also for all of these uh, tiles that are representing planks of wood well they are actually all printed for that oh, which great for that but the rest of which are all stickers and whereas for this little bit here above the doorway oh, which quite interesting build to it like the stops like the sign piece there and also you get quite a few of these uh, t-bar pieces in white which really nice which you can definitely use in mocks and stuff and of course also you get plenty of the unicorn horns in white but used as icicles of course and if you notice on this section of which that there's like two turntable pieces in there to give it this curve kind of look which the original version did not have for that since it was just since of course it was a previous age of Lego well, for that and if you notice that oh, were supposed to be windows of which they're just traditional well, window pieces in solid brown probably represent like boarded up shades or something but yeah <coughs> and whereas all those boards were printed but this one here is a sticker, even though it's a little bit longer, of course. And also, nice use of these little slope pieces and the Nexonite shield pieces, but also have a sticker on it, them, of course. And whereas for this top part build, of which kind of similar to last, just about like last year's uh, Hogsmeade Village set, of course. And also like that is the roof that's tilted quite a bit and also with some white tiles on it as snow of course and also plenty bit more of that technique going on for that and whereas for this one side of which does have a few various bricks or plates with a little bit of printing on them representing the chimney part of it which goes all the way up to that of course 
Whereas for the other side of which, not much. And I see so just a couple of jagged slopes there representing the rocky bit of it, but I'll mention what this cliff does in a moment. And of course, whereas for and why there is a clip bit to this widget, where so you can lift it up and have your characters escape right out of it, of course. And now on to the backside interior of it. Like we of course have another thicker tile representing some sort of portrait of it, and chair piece in green, the newer lantern, and also the newer uh, chest piece with and of course these pieces probably used as candles of course you can open that up and there's a chalice and chocolate frog of course and all connected on a single stud there and that's for this upper section As you see, it does have a single fireplace there, with some nice builds to it, and also a nice portrait build or sticker tile representing another picture on that. You can see a little hole on there, but that's guy kind of expected. And also some more tiles with stickers on them. Of course, and also nice use of the like tack pieces with the cones on them. But also, let me take this out. And as you see, this is supposed to be a grand piano with a smaller version of the keyboard pieces is there, and also another one of those pieces used as the candle on it, and the. And the gold grill bit there, probably representing strings in it, of course. And as you see, and of course have one of those jumper pieces used as a stool and three cones used as the legs of it. However, the small build of it, quite simple, but well done and effect well effective. And also do get a little sleeping pad kind of area with some more with another one of those uh, corner pieces, but in sand green. Also nice to have for mocking. Oh, and also of course you can open the door up just well. And also sticker it on both sides, just like the 2020 Privet Drive one. Oh, and also I forgot yet yeah, forgot to mention is the little clip right there. That clips to the other section from before. And clips on like so. And they do and it kind of swivels a slight bit so you can like have it stick out on your display or shelf or strain on, of course, or however you want, but yeah. Or you can just have it separate if for, if you're doing a Hogsmeade mock or whatever. I think this is which a quite really good set for how it is and since of course this first time ever getting a new version of the Shrieking Shack and although what I think could have worked out is have it just the, as the Shrieking Shack without the Whomping Willow but although I think another version of the Whomping Willow could have come with like a Hogwarts Corridor set like in 2018 but although I can still kind of forgive how this is. Or me, he also could have included like separate, uh, smaller 
uh, Shaq villain for that, since if you look at how it is in the movie, or the previous version, then it did come with an extra transformation kind of piece for that. Or maybe that would have been a little much, but yeah. But as for the size for, as price for piece, which, uh, quite good for as is, and also for the minifig selection, uh, which, first time of getting Werewolf Lupin and Professor Lupin, obviously, and still great to get here. And also with, with Padfoot, which, also great to have here as well, and yeah. And, and so now, if you are looking to get this set for your collection, or Hogsmeade display, definitely pick this up. And if you're looking to get this for your Harry Potter newer style collection, also definitely pick this up. And that is about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.